guys, Jessie here, the Freddy Family Coach. Thank you for returning to the beginner dog training series. We are in the second video. Um, there's going to be three total videos of walking on a leash or uh, leash training with your dog. This is the second video in the series. So welcome back. Thank you for being here. If you are brand new to the beginner dog training series, there is a link in the description. I highly recommend you start from the very beginning of the playlist and working your way through because there is a reason that I put these videos in order for you because uh, everything is is working up to something else so make sure you do do check out the link to the playlist in the description and start from the beginning all right guys we are on the second video of our leash training inside of the beginner dog training series in the first video we talked about how we can't expect to take our dog out for a walk and them to be perfect without doing the proper training. We talked about how it is not at all normal for any dog to calmly walk slowly next to you, attached to you with a leash. That is not normal for a dog. We have to train it. So we have to be able to understand where our dog is coming from and use positive reinforcement and rewards to show them the behavior that we want in them and to encourage them to exhibit that behavior. So in the first video, we started inside of the home. And in this video, we're actually gonna be moving outside of the home. Really quick before we get started, I do wanna take care of just a couple of housekeeping items. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. If you are brand new and have never been to my channel before, welcome, my name is Jessica. If you look down there and that subscribe button is red, go ahead and click it, it'll turn gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications, that way YouTube can notify you each time I post a new video. Also, there are a few links in the description that I do want to tell you about. The first one is the link to the playlist for the beginner dog training series. I, Like I just said, if you are just getting to this video and you have not gone through the entire beginner dog training series, I highly recommend that you start from the beginning. There is a reason I put these videos in order. So go ahead and check out the link in the description to that playlist and start from the very first video. Also, there is a link in the description to my book. It's called the Seven miracle steps. What the seven miracle steps are, are my seven canine commandments. These are the foundations of training that I teach to every single one of my in-home clients before we learn anything else. And the reason that I teach these before anything else, one is because this is what you need to know to be able to train your dog properly. But also I see in so many homes, whatever behavior problems that a client has come to me with, with their dog, just putting these seven canine commandments or seven miracle steps in place in your home drastically reduces these behavioral issues that were happening in the first place. So definitely check out the link to the book. You can get a digital copy and start reading it right away. Of course, there are a couple of other links to my online video training, which I definitely recommend you check out, as well as my Amazon storefront. I have all kinds of wonderful pet products there that I personally love and use, so I definitely recommend you checking that out uh, before you click off of this video make sure you check out my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description. Okay, so in this video, I said we are going from training inside of the house to training outside of the house with our leash training with our dog. So um, again, like I said, leash walking on a leash and walking slowly on a leash, which to a dog, we walk very, very slowly, is not a normal behavior. We do have to train with them to get them to walk the way we want them to walk. And don't expect that your walks are gonna be perfect even while you're training inside. Anything you train inside is not necessarily going to extend outside until you start training with it outside with your dog because that change of environment, I've talked about this a lot in the beginner dog training series, that change of environment really trips your dog up. So we have to train inside, get really good with it, and then slowly transition outside with it. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. We've been working inside, right? And now we're gonna go outside of the home, but we're not gonna go on a walk yet. Now, really quickly, if you didn't watch the first video or if you haven't been following along in the beginner dog training series, I am not saying to stop walking with your dog by any means. That is not what I'm saying. Go ahead and continue walking your dog as normal, but just understand that your walks are not going to be perfect right now and that is okay. Don't expect the world of your dog when you haven't even trained yet. So go ahead and walk your dog as normal. Make sure you're giving them plenty of exercise before you start your walk. Make sure you're giving them plenty of exercise before you start any training. This is really going to help your dog settle down and focus. 
So by moving outside, we are literally going to be staying in the vicinity of your home, just moving outside. So this could be your front yard, your backyard, a courtyard, if you live in an apartment or a condo. So we're going to stay within the, the vicinity of your home. We're not actually training on a walk yet, but we're going to take those same things that we were training inside of the house and move them outside into your driveway or your front yard or your backyard or your courtyard, whatever it may be. So we're going to do the ditch the bowl. Like I showed you in the first video, we're going to do the ditch the bowl where we take their food and we toss out a piece. And once they get that piece of food, and as soon as they turn their head and look at us, we're gonna reward that and toss another piece of food. This is teaching your dog to check in with you and checking in with you outside versus inside because that's a very different thing for your dog. And then we're going to work with having your dog sit next to you where, wherever you're working. I mean, maybe it's in the driveway. We're, for purposes, for example purposes in this video, we're gonna say you're working in the driveway of your home. We're gonna have your dog sit, right? We're gonna take a baby step. We're gonna, and as long as they take that baby step with us, we're gonna reward that. We're gonna praise them. We're gonna give them a treat or a piece of their food as reward. And we're gonna continue taking baby step, baby step, baby step, having our dog walk slowly alongside us. And while, while all the while, we are, we're training them to check in with us. We're training them to walk calmly by our side. Make sure that your leash doesn't have any tension in it. That's what we mean by having a loose leash. It doesn't have any tension in it. So if you're looking at a leash and it's just straight down from you to your dog, that has some tension in it. If it has like a little U shape, even the slightest U shape, that means that there's no tension in the leash. And that's what we're looking for. That's a loose leash. And that's what we're looking for with your dog. So practice this around your home, around the outside of your home before actually going on a walk because that is what we're going to be covering in the next video. Um, we're actually going to go for a walk and practice all of these the same way. Well, we're not going to do ditch the bowl on the walk, but if you go to a park, you can do ditch the bowl. If you, uh, but if you're on a walk, we're going to be asking for a look cue. We're going to be turning around if your dog, dog starts pulling. So whether you're working inside or whether you're working in your driveway and you know the, the exterior vicinity of your home, if your dog st starts pulling, we wanna turn around and turn in another direction. It doesn't necessarily have to be a complete 180 degrees. You can turn left, you can turn right. As long as you're being safe, don't turn into oncoming traffic or anything like that. That would be absolutely horrible. Um, be safe, but do change direction if at all possible because we want your dog to understand that pulling doesn't get them what they want. It actually gets them the opposite of what they want, so we're gonna turn around and go in another direction. So these are the things that I want you to practice in the vicinity, the exterior vicinity of your home, driveway, front yard, backyard, courtyard, whatever that may be. And that's what I want you to be working on this week with your dog. Let me know how things are going. Let me know how um, the first video, loose, loose, loose leash training video went with you and your dog and walking uh, by your side with a loose leash indoors. Let me know how that went. Comment in the description below. Let me know how things are going this week by taking it outside because this is a big challenge for your dog. This is something that your dog um, is not naturally going to know how to do. We do have to teach them and by going outside we are adding a ton of distraction. So we really have to be positive and understand that this will work. We just have to give it time and we have to make sure that we are consistently doing this. Make sure we're being consistent with it. We want to make sure that you can keep your dog's attention outside. This is very important because moving from inside to outside and maintaining your dog's attention is something you are going to have to work on with your dog. So this is the goal in this week is to make sure you can maintain your dog's attention while moving out your training outside. And we also want your dog to understand that by having that leash uh, putting that leash on means that they're supposed to remain close to you. So those are the things that we're really looking for to happen with you and your dog this week and training. All right, guys, so continue working with your dog. Comment below. Let me know how things are going. And don't forget to join the group. Join the family. There's a link in the description below. There are thousands of other pet parents waiting to welcome you to the group. 
post pictures of your dog, post videos of what you're training with your dog. Let us help you if you're having some frustration. Share the wins. We are all there waiting for you to join. So make sure you check the link in the description below and join the group. Again, if you have any questions at all, make sure you do post them in the comments below. I love being able to help you and answer those questions for you. Thank you so much for being here and watching through the beginner dog training series. Again, if this is the first video you have clicked on and you haven't gone all the way through the beginner dog training series, make sure you check the link in the description below for the playlist. Start from the beginning. There is a reason I put these videos in order for you and your dog. So start from the beginning and work with your dog each week through the beginner dog training series, and you will see a huge difference in your training and in the bond between you and your dog. Also, there's going to be another video popping up right here, definitely going to help increase that bond between you and your dog. So I definitely recommend you checking that out next. Thank you so much for being here with me on YouTube, and I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.